GB News boss has said they are continuing to monitor the situation regarding serious allegations against their presenter Dan Wooten, despite not being proved by an independent body. His self-titled show still airs Mondays to Thursdays on the TV channel. Dan admitted making errors of judgment but denied criminality claims after being accused of using a fake online identity and offering money to media colleagues for sexually explicit material of themselves, per an article in Byline Times. Channel executive Angelos Frangopoulos responded to a letter from the chair of the House of Commons Media Committee on Tuesday, providing an update on what, if any, investigations or processes have been undertaken since the recent complaints about Mr. Wooten were publicly raised. Dame Caroline Denonage referenced an ongoing investigation into his alleged behavior by the Sun newspaper, the outlet Wooten worked at until 2021, she also mentioned news from August that Mail Online had paused his column. DMG Media, who owns Mail Online, said in a statement, We are continuing to consider a series of allegations which Dan Wooten, who has written columns for Mail Online since 2021 as one of several outside freelance contributors, has strenuously denied. The allegations are obviously serious but also complex and historic and there is an independent investigation underway at the media group which employed him during the relevant period. In the meantime, his freelance column with Mail Online has been paused. In her new letter, Dame Caroline explained, since then, we are aware that Mr. Wooten continues to broadcast on GB News and indeed discussed the accusations against him during a broadcast on the channel on July 19, 2023. In response, Mr. Frangopoulos said, Serious allegations have been made against Dan Wooten, but, as far we are aware, none of these allegations have been admitted or proved by an independent body. GB News continues to monitor the situation. He added, were a formal complaint to be raised by a member of our staff, then GB News would, of course, take appropriate steps. After allegations came to light, Dan launched a public plea and asked his social media followers to donate money towards his legal bills. Alongside a donation box, he wrote, a hard left blog is on a deranged campaign of harassment designed to destroy me financially mentally and professionally, but, with your help, they will not succeed. Byline Times has eschewed all journalistic, legal and moral practices to publish a series of defamatory and untrue claims as part of a highly politicized witch hunt designed to cancel and a-platform me. Byline have already come for the likes of the Free Speech Union, the Legatum Institute, GB News and Douglas Murray who received substantial damages for their lies. Now they and others want to silence me. On July 17, Dan opened his show on GB News just after Byline Times published several allegations were made against him. In the initial report, the newspaper claimed Dan had posed as branding and offered up to £30,000 tax-free to his alleged targets, claims he denies. Addressing the claims, Wooten said, as you probably don't know, because you're not insane enough to pay attention to the cesspit of social media, these past few days I have been the target of a smear campaign by nefarious players with an axe to grind. Notably, by an ex-partner who I was previously abused by, something I have never spoken about publicly before, by the way, who has been on a campaign to destroy my life. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.